Welcome everyone to week six of the UPBA. We're finally back in my apartment. I don't know if that is something that has been seen yet or not, but uh, cool. Uh, we're facing Shay, who has a pretty poor record right now, but also at the same time has a very scary team and is someone who actually has my number um, in terms of when we've played in the past. Um, I think when I decided <laughs> to make this team, I made, like, Terrakion the dedicated lead, because it's like a rocks lead that gets its, like, weakness policy procced by things. Uh, no Pharaoh is pretty nice. Uh, if I do remember correctly, um, when I built this team, uh, Razorclaw asked me, what is your switch into Hydreigon? And I said, ha 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 ha. I sack one. So we're gonna do that every time Hydreigon comes in. We don't see the Spectre though, which means we can use Guzzlord a little bit more freely, which I do like. Um, it'll be nice for the Mesprit too. And, and oh God, do I not have Heavy Slam on it? Oh dear God. Oh, I didn't put Heavy Slam on it. Oh fuck, that's not good. Okay, well. Okay, we're gonna have to pretend like we have heavy slam on it, everyone. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to pretend. Why don't I have heavy slam on this? I have two dark moves. Huh? Oh god. This is what happens when you rush your prep the day of. Oh no. <laughs> um, do I have enough to break Aromatis though? I mean I have like Cosmic Power Clef and Celesteela, so you would think that like I should be able to somewhat take on uh, Aromatis or at least uses a setup fodder. Look at that basic bitch background. We made him 151 to see, you know, what his what his background would be. It's basic bitch background, let me tell you. So, um, I think that Zen headbutting here would be brave um, on his end, but I also think I'm EV to take one. So I think I'm just gonna rocks here um, on I, what I imagine is a U-turn. I didn't like write down his team at all. Um, there's Pert. It's fine by me. Uh, so what, what is on this man's team? He's got a Swampert. He's got a Hydreigon. He's got a Cinderachi. He's got a Mesprit. He's got a Aromatis. And he has a Thunder Asterion. I'm really proud of myself for doing that without having to look. Um, I'm gonna taunt here to stop him from getting up his own rocks. Flip turn, okay. That's fine, I suppose. Uh, it does mean he's probably just gonna get a Cinderachi switch in, which is annoying, but it be what it be. Um, but it also means, you know, I can save this, which is kind of neat, I guess. I don't know. Oh, what's the odds he's HJK instead of Zen? I feel like they're pretty small odds. Uh, this thing's boots, right? Yep, this thing's boots. It's fine. Uh, imagine we see a Zen here. I'm actually gonna go into Guzzlord. I'm gonna be kind of aggressive on this play just because I think he's gonna Zen here and then I wanna go back into Drakion on the U-turn. If he U-turns here, like, well played. Yeah, Iron Heads. Okay, interesting. That does a lot. Um, We'll see U-turn here, I imagine. Do I live a U-turn with Guz? Again, since Spectre is not here, I feel like I don't need this as much. Fifty. Uh, I should live actually. So I'm just gonna click knock off. I don't think he HJKs. Yeah, it's fine. So I won't die here. Um, and I'll get some item removal, which I think is pretty nice, if I do say so myself. 
Um, having this could have been nice, but the fact that I like can't touch Aromatisse it makes me just be like, nah. I'll just take the knockoff where I can. Um, so Iron Head U-turn. So I thought he would be Zen Head, but but the fact he's Iron Head is like fine. Um, I'm surprised he's going into this, given I could be Heavy Slam. Uh, he is gonna lose his Babiri Berry. Okay, so I think he. I'm just gonna let him, let him KO me here. Um, if he wants to make a double into Pert, I'll knock off twice. But I feel like he doesn't want to lose this, so. All right, now he's just gonna give it to me. Fine by me. Moon Blast, it's gonna take my Guzzlord out. But also like, does Celesteela get to do Celesteela things now? I have no idea. Um, am I Flash Cannon? I'm Air Slash. Okay, fair point. Um, Earthquake Immunities, quite a few. Uh, I'm already not liking my position in this, uh, in this game. I think I am going to go into you and Earthquake. I could go into Steela, but I just like don't know what is and isn't choiced yet. I'm just going to Earthquake here. If he chooses to like go into Mesprit, like good on him I guess. But I want to know if this Thunder is his boots so that Steela can win, because I still feel like I have a good setup opportunity for Steela, and I wouldn't want to blow it in front of this thing if it like T-bolts me. And then, like, he sacks it off, and then I can't kill it with anything except a Meteor Beam. I mean, mm, it's hard to say for sure. There's also a question of, like, is this Cinderace even a fire move? Who knows? Interesting, it's Iron Head, um, but that also means that makes things a little bit nicer for, um, what's it called? Okay, Earthquake takes this thing out. So, that makes Draco spammable, which I like. I don't think he knows my item. And he doesn't have rocks up. Malfoy. This thing. I <sighs> my swap into this thing? Ha 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 ha. But also at the same time, like, go for Draco. Sure, whatever. I mean, you could also flash cannon in here and just take me out, which would be, again, more than fine. U-turn. Cool. So this thing's U-turn. This might be the Scarfer. Does Seela outspeed Scarf High Dragon? I feel like it might. Um, we might see an Iron Head here. Do I just go into you? Like, you take very little. Oh, sure. Why not? Um... Let's take a look at this. Oh, pfft, I do not think I'm going to be outspeeding Scarf High Dragon. Okay. Iron Head, that's fine. Uh, Willow becomes free. Yeah, that does nothing. Cool. Um, I'm just going to click Willow as Pier. Draco could have also been a free play. But who knows? So it's just Iron Head U-turn so far. If he's Sucker Punch, I feel like that's that would be a weird move to go for. So he just U-turns here. So I, I get a free Hex off against something, or a, or a free Willow off against something rather, um, which I do not mind. I actually would be very intrigued to know what it is. That Willow, rather. Pertinent comes in, takes rocks, will take Willow. I am just going to Hex here. If I'm toxic, not really the biggest deal in the world. I like where Clef looks right now in terms of uh, winning the game. What I think I would like to do at this point 
is I think I would like to go for Steela, and if Hydra is Scarf and has to lock into a fire or a, a fire or dark move, then that allows me to um, set up with Clef, which I think is cool. Okay, he is going to flip turn here, 100%, um, but I can't do anything about it. Um, so the question is just, like, what brings in... What's, like, the thing that I don't want brought in? Um, I actually almost don't mind bringing in Big Kahuna here, which I think I'm going to do. Because, like, U-turn or flip turn is not going to do much to me, and I don't need health on this. Rocks. That's fine, too. Um, is it? It's probably fine. Um, knock off here? Yeah, knock off here. Cool. He might be helmet. Yeah, that's fine. Malfoy comes in here. Do I die to, like, Draco? Diggersby. I mean, Diggersby has some bulk, so it's possible I don't die to this. Hi, Dragon. Uh, I may enjoy the prospect, because he's not going to be sub or set up, of just knocking off this thing's scarf if it turns out I live a hit from it. And if I... If it outspeeds me, then also I obviously know that, um, fucking, it's Scarf. Uh, Draco Meteor. Uh, has a chance to kill me. I'm just gonna knock off here. Flash Cannon comes out. Important to know. Uh, I am gonna get rid of its scarf though, which frees up Sila a ridiculous amount. Um, flash cannon. Okay. Yui. Um. If I had a normal move on this thing, it would be so nice, but I don't. Let's go into Terrakion. I still think Terrakion's kind of sort of useless. And if he goes Cinderachi, I get a free Draco. Dark Pulse. Love it. So I get a boost. And I think on this turn, I'm just going to click CC. I know that Stone Edge is unresisted, but I would rather just get like guaranteed damage off. Uh, because I think that's all I need in terms of a uh, potential sweep for Steela. So we're going to KO the Hydra. I imagine the Cinderace will come in here. The question just becomes then, you know, do I go into the clef and just claim the KO? Or do I go into the... Ugh, this is still gonna be hard the more I'm thinking about it. There's Cinderace. This is fine. Cinderace can kill me here. Nothing wrong with that. He'll lock an iron head. That's cool. 
And then I think I go into Giratina. I think that's the next play here. He could be Sucker, but I would be surprised if he was Sucker Punch here. I really would. I still have Sneak. So I'm just gonna click Draco here. He's Assurance, it shouldn't do a ton. Is Draco better than Willow? Yeah, I mean, it's so much damage. I would be very surprised if he gave me this. Like, he goes into Mesprit or Thundee here. He does give me this. Damn. So I need to land this. This is God Kill. It doesn't. But does Sneak kill? I mean, I suppose we'll find out. There's no reason not to find out. It does KO. Cool. Okay, that's pretty good. Mesprit and Thundee remain. Um, if Thundee's set up, he would need to be, he would have to boost twice, which I'm not sure is possible in front of me. There's this thing. Does it take rocks? Doesn't take rocks. So my question now is, can this thing double dance in front of me? I don't think so, right? Like, am I crazy? Um, if I Draco here, into two Shadow Sneaks, I got 29 seconds, set the needle level 50, I need to remember to put my stuff in beforehand. I mean, I don't have a lot of attack investment, that's the caveat. But if I'm eyeing this correctly, I think Draco into two sneaks should do it. So again, it just comes down to landing the Draco. Agility. Okay, that's fine. So this should do about 40%. Yep. Yilly. Maybe. Maybe. Oh gosh, maybe. Okay, he dark pulses. Okay, so he kills the rat. He's agility dark pulse. I should be able to live one of these. I would be shocked if I didn't. Like, I know Thundee's strong, but, like, come on now. It's not that fucking strong. Sludge Wave? I mean, we're just gonna find out. No, it just says T-Bolt, so. Cool. Okay. Let's go Clef. Let's go Clef. Powerful. Powerful stuff here. So we just have Mesprit. That's all we have left to take care of. If it's Calm Mind... I have this, I have Steela. But I would win the exchange if it's Calm Mind, right? Right? Maybe? I don't know, we'll find out. I got speed. What? Why do I add speed? Explain this. Is he Trick Room? Be Trick Room. That's crazy. Okay. Is he Trick Room Calm Mind? Ooh, okay. He can't- is he Nasty Bot? Does he get Nasty Bot? Oh god. Okay. Um... Jesus. I still had speed, funny enough. Psychic. 
If he's not boosting, Steela should take the hit. I would be surprised if it didn't. Actually, I should have healed there. That was dumb of me. But I could just heal the next turn. Unless this just, like, kills this next turn. How many Trick Room turns are left? Two. I think I'm fine. So he just gave me Trick Room <laughs> to, to beat this thing. Uh, does this kill? Okay, this just kills. Okay, cool. GG to Shay. Um, <laughs> that was, like, weird. I didn't expect that at the end there. Okay. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we got a 3-0 victory off of Shay. Was not expecting it to go down like that. Truthfully, I was expecting to see the horse. Was very surprised not to see it. Um, it just made Guzzlord get a free knockoff off. And then... freaking Steel and never even came out. Uh, so that was weird. Uh, I feel like Giratina did most of that, though. So, shout out to Giratina. 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 Garatina. No. Garat? Rat! That wasn't even intentional. Oh my god. The rat. The rat pulls it through again. Shoutouts to Giratina. Very cool Uber. And I think I've said it numerous time on some, times on this channel. My favorite legendary. Fun fact. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, we move up to 6-0. Next week we're playing Matt O'Shea. Probably locked for playoffs, so yippee. Um, but yeah, I will see you all then.